In Peru, murals across the city of Lima are disappearing, inciting the indignation of art lovers. The city's mayor is claiming responsibility for covering up the street art, and he says he has no plans to stop. CCTV's Dan Collins has our story. Missing, a work of street art. Many people in Lima are wondering if the mural where they live or work will be next. The people come by and look at the art and wonder who the artist is. I don't want them to paint over it. It gives life to the people and to this place where we work. It's beautiful. For some, the knowledge that this art could be permanently removed is upsetting. If they erase this piece of art, there will be others. There will be tears, but we will never stop practicing our art and never give up our cultural identity. Artists like Yolanda Cornejo are standing vigil at the murals, which have yet to be covered in yellow paint. It's the color of the new mayor's political party. Some believe Mayor Luis Cataneda's concerns may be more than cultural ones. The mayor says he wants to erase street art from Lima's downtown. He says it doesn't fit in with the city's historic center. But critics suspect the real motive may be an attempt to paint over his predecessor's legacy. The former mayor, Susana Villaran, encouraged cultural programs in the city's gritty downtown. Now, Castaneda, three months into his job, says all must go and defends his decision. Clearly, they're not in keeping with the historic center. What is UNESCO going to say to me? That it's come to their attention? But cultural experts in this chaotic and historic city of 10 million people say the UN's cultural body encourages such art. UNESCO proposes for historic centers is that they become alive. So one way to make a city alive is with street art, which is a movement that has been growing in the last 10, 15 years. So if anything, I think UNESCO would have approved something like uh, the project we had in, with the murals in Lima and not what the mayor is doing now, which is putting just blank walls around the city. As the dispute touches a raw nerve, it's perhaps a sign that culture and politics don't mix. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.